Welcome back to the third quarter of the Blitz. Abernathy meeting with Childress like they always do in the playoffs in Floyd Data. Picking up on the action at the start of the second half. Jess Hull throws a wide open Maki Rees for a nice gain for the Antelopes, which sets up this quarterback sneak. Another play by Jess Hull for a touchdown. Now, not to be outdone, though, Colin Bishop will look for the end zone. He's looking to make a throw. He's going to find an open Lamont Nickelberry for a touchdown. Abernathy would go on to drop this one 28 to 21. And the Roosevelt Eagles matching up with the number five Spearman Lynx in River Road. Roosevelt's Jacob Torres would take it in for the score. He's made big plays for them all season. It's eight to six Spearman. Spearman would immediately respond though when Fabian Hernandez takes the swing pass, tiptoes down the sideline and beats everyone to the pylon for the score. And it's 15 six Spearman. Roosevelt would score again off this handoff to Alex Trevino for the walk-in TD. Spearman though, just too much to handle. This time it would be Jack Wilkerson. He fires it over the middle, and what a play from Brandon Klafka to catch it, then outrun everyone to the end zone. Roosevelt is eliminated by Spearman falling 63 to 34. Now down to 2A Division I District 2. Hale Center facing off with number nine Panhandle. This is in Tulia. First quarter, it's already 14-0. Wes Jones is on a rope to Layden Hack. That makes it 21-0. Panhandle is not messing around. Now, it's a bad snap by Jace Edwards. They're going to track it down. This actually makes it 28 to nothing. Hale Center is just getting buried early in this one. There's still time. It's tough to overcome, though. Now, Wes Jones is going to find Zion Mercer on a third and long. That actually keeps the drive alive for Panhandle. And then second quarter, same drive, fourth Fourth goal, I should say. Yeah, Jones back to Mercer. That makes it 35 to nothing. Hale Center is eliminated. They lose this one to Panhandle, 55 to seven. Final of the quarter of the Blitz. I should say the final quarter of the Blitz is still to come. <laughs> we can't get any words right now. We continue with two A's as Sundown and Farwell face off in Leveland. I'm just getting tongue tied because it's so exciting. It's also six mania time. Anton is taking on Sands. We also preview tomorrow's matchup between Texas Tech and Baylor. All of that coming up. Stay with us.